Yeah, the band that does one of those songs, that Grey's Anatomy song, you just can't get it out of your head. It's made stars of the four guys that make up the fray. So we wondered, what does one of the hottest acts in music listen to? It's the latest installment in our series, The Nightline Playlist. Some boil away. The first time I really felt this magical pull towards, towards music was uh, with this band, Bush. And uh, they had a song called Swallow. And it was about a lot of things that I wasn't allowed to do. You know, uh, like drugs and all this stuff that was like the other side of the tracks for, for me and where I grew up. I was listening to a lot of like kind of fakey, happy, like cheer up, life will get better kind of music. And this, this like ripped the cover off of that. And it really forced me to, to deal with my own life and what, what I wanted my life to look like. My uh, left field influence was Ray Charles, actually. Um, I was tap dancer back in the age 11, and we had to do this song, Hit the Road Jack. And I, I'd never really like made the connection between music and movement, like body movement and ear sound. And uh, it, was it was, I can't explain it, it was the craziest thing. Uh, I think the first band um, that made me want to play music and made me pretty much idolize you know, bands or want to start a band of my own listener bar. Specifically the song it smells like things too. Um, I was I think twelve years old at the time when that song came out. It was like the biggest thing at that time in my life. My brother and I decided to for some reason take off our clothes and um, run out in the backyard. It was like six feet of snow, or like six inches of snow, and blast the song out of my living room. And just like roll around in the snow and, and just go, can I go crazy? We were going to like a graduation or some family event and I rode with my cool cousin instead of riding with grandma and the aunts and everything. And he had the and he had the Beastie Boys cassette and his Jeep. And we were listening to Sabotage. And it was my first experience of like, I, I, I kind of felt guilty. Like I shouldn't be listening to it because it sounded so like something was wrong, you know? And like, and maybe that was just my upbringing. And like, I assumed that there must be something wrong with whatever's happening here uh, in this music. And because he didn't say God, because he didn't say God ever. <laughs> <laughs> I think Radiohead's Kid A was really the point for me where um, it was literally the first track, everything in its right place. Because it was, you know, my first experience with albums playing track one, listening to my headphones and just being like, what is going on in this album? I listened to it and something about it, it at the same time really, it almost like perplex me at music like all of a sudden like oh this thing that I thought I kind of understood in rock what I th kind of thought it was was totally different now it's a beautiful afternoon to save lives people let's have some fun Take a break. When we come back, it's a hurricane looming on the horizon.